So iDoodleStuff is an Ottawa-based company, and what we're doing is we're designing a game manager that can sit on top of any online game, and teachers can take their curriculum, put it into the game manager, along with questions and answers, let's say from that week's lessons, and the game manager will map the curriculum and the questions to the game that's underneath of it. Um, we can put any game underneath of it, and then the, the, the students can then play it in class or online, either by themselves at their own pace or collaboratively. Um, and it's, not, it's just a, a two-way street. So not only do the kids get to play the game and learn as, as they go, let's say about geography, that week's geography lessons, but the teacher can also see how the kids are doing because she, she or he would get a report on where all the kids are, have they played the game, how, how much time have they spent on each area, how much time have they spent on each puzzle. And what, why that's important is because it then says, if all the children are doing each this one particular puzzle in 30 seconds, but one child is spending two or three minutes at it, it might be time for the teacher to pull that child aside and say, do you understand what this was all about? Or conversely, if all the kids are playing the game, uh, each puzzle for 30 seconds, then all of a sudden all the kids are taking five minutes to do a puzzle, the teacher can go back and say, maybe I didn't address that one area properly. And then, so that's the way the game works. And what we're excited about is we're launching it with Myst. We've acquired the rights to Myst, the Myst series of games globally. So we're going to be launching with Myst. So this whole, this whole uh, project will be, the kids will be able to play the game with Myst and learn as they, as they go along. Sure. And in fact, that's, that was one of our biggest concerns. Because what, what we needed to do was to make sure that tech, teachers were not tech savvy at all, in fact. So what ends up happening, what's really cool about it is you, the teachers would grab the text for that week's lesson, let's say it's geography, and just put the entire text in a text editor that we supply. Real simple, you don't have to format it, you just drop it in. And the game manager will then turn it into the font that's missed and make it look like part of the game. So when, then when you go to the library and you pull out the book and you open it, it's going to look like one of the missed books and the pages will flip. And, you don't have to be tech savvy at all. That was the whole point of this. And the questions, the only thing that the teacher has to do is supply us with questions uh, and the right answers, and the game will take care, or the game manager will take care of, of mapping it up, uh, mapping it to that game. Okay. I think teachers want these sort of tools. They need these sort of tools. The teachers are at an interesting, quote unquote, disadvantage because their students are tech savvy. They're digital natives, as we call them, right? So they, they've been growing up with computers. Um, and so when you try to, to put these digital natives into an old traditional teaching method, you start losing, in, the kids start losing interest. And pilots have been done with, with another version of MIST in the UK. And when you bring, when you bring something like technology into the classroom, um, in one particular case, the literacy rate in the class went from 66% to 100% in less than a year because you're getting the kids involved in it. So it's not just, a teacher talking up front and, 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 you know, talk, 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 answer, answer, answer. It gets boring after a while. But when you can introduce technology, uh, everyone gets excited. So the way we're going to be marketing is we're going to be marketing through viral videos. And really, the teachers are the best way of, of advertising this. They know they need these tools. And there's a network of teachers out there who actually know about what we're doing. And um, it's actually accelerating itself. I mean, they want these sort of tools. So that's the way we're going to be, uh, we're going to be doing it, letting the teachers be our marketers. Well, for that's an interesting question. Um, certainly, the UK have spent an obscene amount of money getting technology into the classroom, and I think it's, it's brilliant. Um, so the, the adoption of technologies like this in, in the UK and Europe is, is, is huge adoption rate. The United States have spent a, uh, are spending a lot of money. Canada is spending a little bit less, and it's going to be, a, I think, a slightly harder sell in Canada in the sense that we need to put technology in in the hands of the children, and we just don't. We just haven't been putting the funding in place. But I think that's going to change over the next little while. You'll see it. But uh, we're hoping again the teachers are the ones that are going to be talking to each other, and, and we're hoping that certainly within libraries and places like that, the kids can play the game. And the thing about the game manager, the iDoodle game manager, is that. Uh, you can play it at school or you can play it at home. So Ideal Software was formed uh, earlier this year. It's a, new, it's a new company. And we have offices here in Ottawa and we have offices in, in London. So our, we have two main groups, right? Some of the development is done in the UK and some of the develop, development is done here. Uh, part of it in Ottawa and part of it in Vancouver is where we're doing our development.